Welcome to Tip TV, ADVFN Trade of the Day. I'm Nick Lamouse Batsu, Commander in Chief of Tip TV. I'm joined by leading technical analyst Zach Mir. Zach, let's talk about Rolls Royce. Um, I saw a Panama, Panorama show recently, didn't basically give the company too much um, credibility, let's say. Are the technicals so in the same picture? Well, we had, it, we had it as a recovery situation earlier in the year, but it looks as though we've topped out with, I wouldn't say it's a sort of a, a rather ragged head and shoulders. You've got the left shoulder there, the top there, uh, two right uh, hand shoulders and, and breaking really back below the seven pound level uh, as the neckline and the 200 day moving average at 704. So I think that uh, given where we are now, 665, a retest of the main support area just below uh, 600 pence looks to be uh, on the cards. Any strength towards the 200 day line, a shorting opportunity. So you would be short for choice? Yeah down to sort of 5.75. It's a messy chart, isn't it? It's a messy chart, but you do have a clear topping uh, formation there with the, uh, that spike in July and then uh, the failures uh, below 800 pence. So that, that does look as though uh, you've got a, a signal to go short. Zach Mir, thank you very much indeed. Move along to our trade of the day, which uh, we were discussing just before we came online. Daily daily chart uh, on dollar, US dollar, Canadian dollar, rising bottom formation upwards, sloping 50 day and 100 day moving averages suggest potential for recovery. Buy around 132.90, objective 134, stops below 132.40. Bit of a tight market anyway, so there's mm. not much to go to gain or lose, I would say. No, I mean, but what will, uh, what will make a difference is if we get into a situation where you have US rates prospectively being substantially above Canadian rates, which is the way it's looking at the moment. The Can Bank of Canada is not likely to ease any further, but it still has an easing bias. Meanwhile, the Fed's on a tightening bias. That's quite unusual. Normally, Canada matches US rates or is slightly higher than them. So that would actually be quite bearish for the Canadian dollar, despite, obviously, the support it's getting from stronger oil prices. Okay.